Hello, Namaskar, Vanakkam. My name is T.S. Sudhir and you're watching Study with Sudhir, your own digital classroom. Many students ask me how to study effectively. Now, it can actually depend on an individual person and it can differ from person to person. But I'll tell you the tips that have worked for my students, the tip that tips that worked for me when I was a student, the tips that work for me even now in my professional career, the few things, the few adjustments that you can make in order to make your time management that much more efficient. Because at the end of the day, how to study effectively essentially is a, a term that you could use for effective time management, right? It's a craft that you develop. And as I said, it can depend from person to person. I personally believe, and I, it has always worked very well for me, be an early bird. I still get up at 4.30 in the morning. And it works very well for me because the time from 4.30 to 6.30 at least, those two hours that I get are absolutely two hours of absolute peace. There is no disturbance. You want to write something, you can write without getting disturbed. Your mind is fresh because it has rested for six, seven, eight hours. Uh, so in that sense, you get a head start over everyone else. Keep before the rest of the world wakes up at 6.30, you have already got a head start. So according to me, that really helps. Some of you would be more comfortable with working in the night because you will say at that time also there is no disturbance. Absolutely fine. The only problem with that is, and I have experimented with that also studying through the night. The only problem with that is that your mind is not 100% fresh because you have worked through the day. So your mind is not 100% fresh. And that according to me is a bit of a drawback when it comes to studying through the night or late into the night. Do baje tak, dai baje tak, teen baje tak. Okay. So that is something according to me, if you study something in the morning and especially subjects like mathematics, physics, etc. The retention is that much better. I feel. Okay. Uh, Point number two, I'm not a great fan of this 25 minutes studying and five minutes break. Okay, because what happens then is that your mind gets programmed to look at the clock. Ki 25 minute hua hai ya nahi. Are, 22 minutes are over, another three minutes I have to study. You're not focusing on what you have to study, whether you are able to retain that very well or not. Your focus is not on that. Your focus is on the clock, which is why always I am never kind of, you know, greatly advocated this time business. According to me, you say that, okay, I need to finish this part of the chapter or this particular concept I need to learn, right? So that could take 35 minutes. It could take 50 minutes, but your focus should be on if I study this well, then I can take a 10 minute break. That according to me works much better because then you are what? You are more task oriented. In the earlier technique, you are more clock oriented. If you're task oriented, your retention will be that much better and you will be more uh, focused on finishing and doing it well. Okay, that only if I do it well, because if you don't do it well, you know that again, you will have to go back to it after a couple of days before the exam. So if you do it well, that has to be your focus uh, when you are doing this technique of being more task oriented. Number three, and this is something which I really advocate each one of you to do. You must have done very well in some subject, in some exam, right? Aapne physics mein half year li mein full score kiye. Aapne history mein last year full score kiye. Aapne geography mein pishle class test mein 20 on 20 lai. What I suggest is that each one of those parts of your report card or the answer script, paste it on the wall. Are wall ganda hota hai to hone to baad mein uh, your parents can get it whitewashed. But paste it on the wall. What it does is that you constantly see what you are capable of. Aapko kahi aur role models dhoonne ki zarurat nahi hai. Aapko Sharma ji ke bete ya beti ki tarah uh, perform karne ki zarurat nahi hai. You be your own role model and try to emulate. Aray, maine pishle exam mein ye kiya tha. So there is no reason why I can't do it again. Hai na? So you should attempt to do it all over again. So be your own role model motivate yourself, inspire yourself to repeat it all over again. That is something which you can do. Or if you have got a photograph of you receiving some kind of an award from your principal or any of your teachers, put that photograph right in front. Say, I am going to get that kind of award. I'm going to be up on stage once again. That has to be 
your mission. That's how you motivate yourself. Okay. Now, fourth point, never study when you are not in a fresh state of mind. Take a shower, wear good clothes. Now, I don't want to wear new clothes. Wear neat and tidy clothes, smart clothes with which you feel, in which you feel very smart with yourself. Okay, ensure that your entire study area is absolutely neat and clean. It should not be like a messy kind of place because when the environment is clean, when you are feeling clean with yourself, your output will be that much better. Your ability to concentrate, your ability to focus will be that much better. So that is something which you need to do. You need to feel good with yourself and with your surroundings. So please take care. Paanch mit lehenge. Make the room clean. Take a shower. In 10 minutes, you will be ready to kind of start on a fresh slate. Okay. Paanchwa point. Stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water. And especially now that you will, will be moving into winter. And thereafter, when the exams are going to start, the heat months will start. So you need to keep yourself hydrated. Eat a lot of fruits. So your diet is equally important because that is the fuel for your mind and for your body. So that is something important. You want to take a break, stretch yourself, stretch yourself so that your body and mind are in sync because your body and mind both are collaborating in order to make you a winner. Hena? So in order to be a winner, your body and mind have to work absolutely in good synergy. There has to be synergy between the two. So eat well, drink well, exercise well, and keep yourself in a positive space. If you do this, trust me, you will be a winner. If you follow each one of these five techniques, you will be a winner. So write in the comment section and let me know whether you are implementing it and how it is shaping up. Thank you very much.